Hey guys, welcome back to 11 Cups. This week, I want to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to swap out the handle on your fellow SAG EKG. Let's get into it. Alright, so for this installation, it's actually pretty straightforward. Obviously, you do need the wooden handle replacement kit from Velo. It will come with some hardware as well as the replacement lid knob as well as the handle itself. And it will actually also come with a hex wrench. What you will need on your own is really just the a screw, a Phillips head screwdriver and a tweezer of your choice. The first thing we're going to do is there is a rubber stopper that's currently covering the screw that was originally in the handle. So you'll simply take this and you just go ahead and pull that out. Now I have already went through this installation once and I'm just redoing this for, for this video. So I you know kind of just have it halfway out already. So once you pull this out, you will see that there is a screw that's currently in there. I uh, just want to reach in with your Phillips head driver and you want to remove it. Okay. After you, re you remove it, you know, you're obviously going to have this little knob here. And this is just going to be the original handle. So first thing while I'm, um, while I'm changing this, I just want to let you guys know that one of the big, the most significant thing that I noticed is that the original handle, it feels to be made out of metal and it's a lot heavier than how the wooden handle feels in, in the hand. So I've been, I actually used it with the wooden handle. The entire kettle is actually a lot lighter. If you feel that the original EKG was a little bit too heavy, by swapping to the wooden handle, it's going to reduce the weight quite a bit. So one thing to keep in mind, the wooden handle is that the hardware, the screw for this piece is actually a lot longer uh, than the original screw that was, on, that was on the original handle. So this is the, the new screw, okay? One thing to keep in mind is that the mistake that I made the first time I, that I did this is that I did not put these two washers in the screw. So when I tighten the screw all the way, you actually end up protruding way too much into the kettle. I actually ended up making a small divot. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm trying to show this. If you, if you guys see, there's a little divot that's currently in the uh, inside of the kettle. So that's actually from me kind of tightening the screw all the way through and it ended up deforming the metal that's on the inside. I think this angle, you could, should be able to see it better. So anyways, so just make sure when you guys are installing this, you're putting both of the washers that's, you know, into the, the screw itself. So the, the next part is very simple. You simply fit this rectangular groove into the pre-existing one, like, like so. And we're just going to drop in the screw. Use the included hex tool and just go and tighten it in. Probably gonna hand tighten a little bit um, and use the long end. Okay, and then just tighten it down a little bit. Again, if you are on this part of the process, please Double check to make sure you have both of the washers on there, okay? Okay, all right. So there, there will be no cover for the wooden part. Uh, I kind of wish that they, I don't know, I, I don't know what was what the solution would be for this, but I kind of, I guess, wish that there was a wood colored piece to go on this. But anyways, this is what we get. The next part is to replace the, the knot that's on the lid. This part is very easy. You simply unscrew this. Uh, just keep in mind the lid actually comes apart into two pieces like this. When you are screwing the new one back together, make sure the three holes are aligned. All right, so then there are see these three air holes. Yeah, three air holes here. Just make sure these three air holes are aligned with the air holes on top. See, I just mis misaligned it. All right, see, that's the three holes supposed to align. And then you simply take the new uh, knob and it's a straightforward screw on. And that's it. Okay, so just a couple, um, I guess, couple of thoughts about this handle. In my original review of the Defala EKG, I did mention that this metal piece here gets very hot. So I was actually hoping that uh, on the wooden replacement, they would replace that piece as well, but it doesn't. So again, if you guys are using this, please just still be very careful with this metal piece right here. Other than that, I, I do find the kettle to still be very well balanced. Although now the kettle part, the actual kettle part is going to be heavier than the handle part. I, I still find it to be, you know, quite, 
quite nicely balanced and I did make a couple pour overs with this new handle on already you know to me it's very pleasant to to to, to make coffee with this still and I really just prefer this look this is not a cheap replacement so if you guys are on the fence about this I guess think about how you know how important the aesthetic of this is to you and of course like I mentioned before if you felt the original kettle was way too heavy this will help reduce the weight a little bit. However, keep in mind this is a $50 upgrade. I just wanted to sort of splurge a little bit and now the kettle actually matches my niche zero. But anyways, um, again, just, you know, I don't think it's 100% necessary to make this upgrade or quote, quote, upgrade, if you want to call it that. So anyways, I just wanted to put this video out there for those of you that are thinking about swapping the, the handle on this or just wanted to know how to do it. So I definitely would have find it useful to watch a video if somebody mentioned something about the two washer pieces before I deformed the interior. But anyways, um, you know, at least it didn't affect the function of the, the kettle as far as I know. So anyways, I hope you guys find this video to be helpful. As always, if you enjoy our videos and want to support the channel, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button as well as share this video with anybody else who will find this to be useful. As always, uh, leave your comments down below on any suggestions or questions that you might have and finally i'll see you guys in the next video bye 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 <laughs>